The history of Arda begins when Ilvatar embodies the thoughts that Ainur formulate during the music and sends the imperishable flame to dwell in the heart of the world. This is the beginning of Ea, the world which is after that, in each age of the world, that of the lands, then that of the trees, and thenceforth the age of the sun, the geography of the world is affected by the substantial changes. Over time, Arda has seen mountains erected to hide Melkor's obscure deeds. Icelands, which cross the ocean like ships and carry elves from one shore to another. The destruction of entire regions as of a consequence of the war between the powers of the world. Icelands that emerge from the depths of the sea to become great kingdoms. Kingdoms that are swallowed by the same sea from which they once emerge, seas that widen, lands that are hidden, and even the shifts in the shape of the world itself. All these events also contribute to the story of the people who have inhabited Arda throughout its history. Because there can be no doubt that the people are molded by the geography in which they dwell. And the same people in turn modify the environment to according to their needs. This is a chance for those who have recently arrived in the Middle Earth to discover some of the most beautiful places that exist within the Legendarium. And also for the seasoned Tolkien travel to revisit the marvels that have enchanted them for years. Just like Tingol was enchanted by Melian in Nan Elmot. So, prepare your backpacks, pull out your maps and fill up your water bottles because we are about to immerse ourselves into the whole inner consistence of reality expressed by Tolkien's world.